I remember being a kid and thinking that MMOs were trash and phone games were trash, and now I'm an adult. And look at me now. I still think they're trash, but I play them all the fucking time. <laughs> My one opinion that hasn't changed is that I'm too cheap, or it, there's this mental block that prevents me from paying for MMOs, like a monthly fee, you know? And, like, there's... You'll get through it. There's... <laughs> uh, no, I'm 34 and I haven't, so no. Like, I I played DFO for a good while. It, it's, it's, it's more of a problem with the game structure of MMOs than... You'll get through it. I don't want to pay for this. I don't want to pay for grinding. You You'll know? get through it. We we can talk of this as a topic after yeah, the killing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. Why the fuck is OBS not starting up? Because you suck. Because I'm tired. Hey, OBS, do you want to be a, not a bitch? Start. I don't know. Yes. Oh, fun fact. Uh, control, shift, and escape. What about it? Just hit it. On your computer. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's how I always start it up. Yeah. Oh. Always. Oh, well, now I know. Like yeah, 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, up until maybe a month and a half ago, I was still going through the task manager, all right? Going Rich and all fucking delete. Peace. I didn't know. No one told me. It's not something people <laughs> tell you. I was messing with key combinations, trying to bring up the, the task manager that's buried in Google Chrome. I was slapping my keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Look, man. Look. We all go at our own pace. <laughs> we it's true. It's very true. Callie, do you do you like do you like the, the art in JoJo? Kinda like, does that does that art style actually Why are you appeal asking to you? him? I'm asking him. I'm just wondering. Alright, he wants a, a neutral position, I think. Um versus what do versus you think my other, opinion is? Like, I, he do wants you a watch Jojo? Y yes. I am. Then yeah, I'm not asking you. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't mind it. It's just okay. Ser like uh -huh. serious talk. We're starting the yeah. podcast with this. Fuck it. Yeah, um, fuck it. I, I haven't hit start yet. Oh. oh God damn it. I'm still recording. Fuck it. Um, yeah, this is the deleted the footage. Yeah, it, it just JoJo is another dudes with powers anime, but it that's being super reductive. I know. But that's yeah. that's part of like, it's it's like the most stylish fucking anime of those. Like it's still a fucking shonen when you get down to it. But it's the most dramatic goddamn shonen in the world. And I uh, I am fine with the art style. I it's super fabulous and stylized, and I will take it over you know fucking Naruto eight, you know, which uh -huh. is my hero. Um. Oh, your hero Naruto? Yeah, Green Naruto. Oh god. Father of Baruto, got it. Yeah, no, I I'm 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 so jaded when it comes to Shonen now that like when we have something like JoJo that is just like Yeah, no, this character is called Red Hot Chili Peppers. And <laughs> obviously. And his power is, you know, uh fucking make you see the future or something. I don't know. Fuck it, right? That I appreciate that. JoJo doesn't give a shit. And that's why I like what I like about it. Yeah, but isn't he like just jacking stuff from everywhere? And I don't know. Yeah, no. It, who <laughs> like gives a shit, right? That, it's like it's like being a wrestling fan, right? Like this is just fucking the Russian character, and this is you know it, like well, it, we're in the middle of the Gulf Russian War, character. and we have the Iron Sheik and Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> like you know it. It's it's about the drama. It's about the drama, not. No, it is, but it's also like it's not just a Russian character. It's you have the Russian character called Sky Vodka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. No. It. Yeah, yeah. No. It's. It's like he's wearing his influence not just on his sleeve, but all over his body and all these fine dude bodies. You know. Uh, it, it, it's. It's like a. <sighs> also, everyone is super erotic, all the time. Am I super no, loud? Not erotic. Deadpool, nope. you need to adjust your levels. Anyway. Oh, is it? It's me. Yeah, no, you're you're super loud. Um, there we go. There we go. Uh, yeah, no, it's... 
JoJo is a fan fiction. But <laughs> but like you know, my original character do not steal uh you know crazy diamond, you know. Like uh-huh. it I there I can appreciate the I don't give a fuck about it. Like no, these characters like the first couple seasons are like the epitome of manliness and it just gets gayer and gayer and like no, this is you're this is how I'm drawing my characters now. You're gonna fucking like it. Here's my character A C D C Fuck it. It's like yeah, no, it's Jojo is fifty shades of grey. And that's right. that's my thesis. Okay. I'll his, I'll make sure to uh, send it in for peer review and we'll see what comes back. His his Joe Fist Joe Star. Welcome to the podcast. This is the BGZ Hi. cast. I'm uh your temporary host, Callie, and with me is uh Chibi. Hello. And Deadpool, who is providing a wonderful stream for us, hopefully. Yeah. Uh that was that was beautiful. <laughs> What's happening right now, by the way, in case uh, you're wondering, is there's new content for Warframe. In order to do the content, you need to have done every single node on the map. Like, the map is huge, it's multi-planetary, and every planet has multiple points, unlike Destiny. So, um, <laughs> he's trying to get Potate through the content now, so he can actually get to the stuff that just dropped. So, if he's a little, occasionally distracted and occasionally really active and everything seems mindless... That's because yeah, he's he's just on autopilot, just doing these missions quick. Yeah, no, Warframe is an yeah. MMO. Yeah, and that's why I can't play. It. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, like, I tried jumping back into it, and uh-huh. I I really like. Yeah, no, this is an MMO. I I don't want to do this. It's I... an MMO without payment, which is the biggest reason I keep going back to it. Well, no, like Not to say uh, we like... haven't spent money on it. <laughs> I, I, I got back into DFO when that relaunched. I got back in pretty hard, and I was, then, like, the grind hit. The grind hit around yeah. level 35, and I was like, oh, you want me to do this dungeon five times, this same dungeon five times before I can progress. Fuck this. Yeah, no, there was a... Um... And I keep finding that with most MMOs. There was something... Even Monster Hunter. There was something the other day about someone on... It was like Jim Sterling. He was saying like about grind, and someone responded with like, "I I don't want any grind in my games. Games with grind suck." And I'm just like, "Yeah, yeah." No. But then there's RPGs. Yeah, and I, I haven't. MMOs I I have not been able to sit myself down for an RPG games. in some time. Like stuff where you're doing 100% of all content because they lock it behind, oh, well, you need to go fight this thing 50,000 times in order to kill this really strong thing because that's how fucking life works. And the we thing put for me, life into your video game. I enjoy the combat, I enjoy the mechanics of it. It, like, it moves well, everything stacks, like, everything builds logically. You've got, all, well, okay, there are certain numbers that don't make sense and we just accept them for what they are, but. Like, the fighting is cool. It's a cool action game built in within yeah, this no, whole I, framework. I played DFO because it was a cool <laughs> yeah. 2D beat-em-up. And yeah. I liked yeah, it. But just, just the idea of, like, games with grind suck and I hate grinding in games because that's wasting my time is kind of a lot of, like... De- to me, Deadpool. Deadpool. But he doesn't have a lot of time anymore for that. Yes. Kind of stuff. Yes. Gaming is escapism, and I am going to play a video game, so I don't have to sit here and do work to watch the numbers go up. I'm. That's why. That's why the narrative game has gotten so much bigger. That's why episodic gaming has appealed to me quite a bit because I only have two hours at a time. <laughs> Yeah, no, for sure. But like, then it's like, hey, uh, this game has this really cool thing in it, and it has this gameplay, and we can all play together. Like, it's it's not just the grind; it's we're doing stuff together. Like, I wouldn't be playing Warframe alone. I mean, you're probably playing DFO alone because you like that type of game. Well, yeah, but know? that that's also you know you don't have to. But uh, for me, that's Overwatch. But that's not a game I'm I'm not doing that for the grind. I'm doing it because. I mean, I'm only playing during events because I played that game for 
gangbusters for the first year and now it's year three and i'm just i want to get the costumes and that's about it you know but i'm still enjoying the pve stuff so you're grinding for costumes <laughs> no no i play like two matches of junkenstein and i'm like all right well this will give me a chance i you know i played widowmaker seriously for the first time uh thanks to this fucking junkenstein mode when i don't have to worry about pressure too much did at any point you play an extra round or two because you realized you were almost to the point where you'd unlock that next box. Yes. That's, okay. That's, that's grind. But it's, it's very small, very minimal. But yeah, that's. I yeah. Gotta do it two more and, times and, I, and I, I get the box. I I have that goal. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you know, you 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 set yourself it like like a lot of things. You set a goal for yourself. All right. I. Yeah. You know, I I'm gonna play for like a half hour, and then like, oh, I'm, I'm one more game, and I'll level up, and that's it. And yeah, it's yeah. it's as long as you have that self control, then you'll be alright. That's that's yeah. what Warframe is. That's it's I I do not play this to grind. No, I play it I, to play it. I set a goal, and then I set myself up with, hey, how can I have fun today? Yeah, and then like, I play it for a few hours or whatever. And since we have the clan, there's there's times where, like, there's reasons to go on. It's like, hey, this person needs something. Or, hey, there's an event. Or, hey, Requiem needs... But, like, yesterday, I was helping them unlock nodes really quick. Yeah. That's what we did. But, like, externally, people just see it and say, oh, that's grinding. No, it, it's, it's the structure. It's the structure that I see that I've seen a million times. And I'm Which just like... The... What? Like, I don't... I the, don't hear the specifics beyond just it's an MMO. The the running dungeons, the leveling up, the uh, here's your skill tree, here's all this bullshit. I like because I played this game before already and yeah, like this was well before, you know, all this crazy story content. But like it's still a game with levels and you have to get to a certain point to unlock another frame and yeah, I, I, it, I. Maybe I'm just. It's jaded. more than you're willing to commit to. It's yeah, fine. it sounds like you're just jaded. Yeah. Like that's what that sounds like, and that's fine to be that because, like, I've had to come to the realization that I fucking hate a lot of the games that VGZ suggests all the time, <laughs> and it's just like, okay, well, all right, y'all enjoy that game. I can't enjoy it. Yeah, no, that's and how I feel just... every time. Friggin' Mirren's talking about Trails of Cold Steel. Yeah, or y'all talk about Fate Grand Order, and I'm just like, dude, I, I, like, I, that, that's one, mobile games are another one where I just see the structure, I see the, the, the things happening in the background, and I'm just like, it's not a structure to me, it's, it's, no, no, if you like playing the game, then that's fine, and if you, I I don't, I don't think it's a structure, because, like, you're, you're saying, like, you enjoy DFO, and it has that structure, yeah, and the structure made me stop. The, that that's what made me stop back, playing. Like, it I, still has that structure. Yeah, but I haven't gone back to it since since going back to it the second time. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, but it's 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 just the like I could probably play that, but I would not play Maple Story because I didn't have a connection to Maple Story at all, and I think a lot of people did because it was their first MMO. You want to know what my first MMO was? Yeah. Tell me. Habbo Hotel. God damn you. Really? Yeah. That was the first, Not, like... Uh, the Furry Zone. I never saw that. I never went into that. Not, sorry, not, not Furry Zone, but it's called Neopets. But it's, yeah, it's the <laughs> what? Furry Zone. Wait, uh, I'm, I'm sorry? Neo, ne- Neopets. Neopets. It's how how is... still the furry. You kidding me? You know what? I, you know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Anyway, am I the only one here who uh, went on muds and mucks and mushes? Oh no no no! I did a mud in high school, but that was is that way some nerd shit? They died. Oh, it's it's it is the nerdiest shit. Um, it is the it's, super nerdiest shit. Hey, what if MMO but in BIOS? It's all text. Gross. You're using the terminal. It's to not connect. just all text. It's like, did you ever see those Atari twenty six hundred? Uh, Dungeons and Dragons games where like everything was a line of text to show a wall, like they were mapping it out. Oh, graphing oh, shit. Well, okay, like, that's enemy, not that's not everything. And then you would be a circle, and you would be a plus, and your friend would be a 
a sword made out of lines kind of thing. That's that was muds. Uh, all text muds also existed, but honestly, yeah. they were, in my opinion, you're, worse. You're trying so hard to defend this thing you like, Chibi. You're you're like reaching. You're like, but he's not. No, wrong. no, I'm just saying. No, here's the th <laughs> no, here's the thing. He's talking about a subset. I'm not. I'm not defending. I'm not like what. It's just saying like, no. I actually. I. I don't think I got on one that had that sort of text interface. Well, that might have been because like it was ASCII. late two thousands. Yeah. Uh, no, I was on a Discworld mud like since it started, and I was on that, that was real text. shit. That was in the nineties, and that's like that text, yeah, yeah. And it's all text, and then they asked, they added ANSI color. Oh yeah, and then things got a little better, but you know. It, it's it's nothing but text. It, it's funny. I used to play muds, but I fucking can't stand uh, the greatest text game of all time. Um, Zork? No, not Zork. Oh. <laughs> Zork's not what I'm talking about. Zork's not the thing that has simulated 75% of what makes up our existence. Um, what? The fuck is the game called? Dwarf Fortress? Fortress? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's... I, I... Dude, I, I they're put... simulating the body systems of each character. In no, it. okay. Dwarf Fortress is closer to NetHack. Like, Rogue. Yeah, no, like I know, that's, I know, that's more I know, it but it's it's a text-only game made in ASCII. Yeah, uh, I I never got into that because I put it in the same place as Darkest Dungeon. It's it's a game where you're just going to go and you're going to get beat down. And it's it's not really, there's no victory. It's more, how long can you not lose awfully? Hey, that yeah. you know what that reminds me of? What does it remind you of? Betrayal on a house on the on a hill. Okay, okay. That's exactly okay. We, how I feel about this, that game. This train <laughs> didn't even start on the tracks. No, right, fuck it. The VGT podcast. No, Let's fuck it. No, no, no. We're we're doing this. Brent's not here. He can't stop us. <laughs> oh no! Please. Okay. NWO invasion right here. <laughs> you fell into my trap. The wolf pack's here. Oh no. <laughs> Please. All right. Can we get into a, what you were playing this week? Chibi, tell this me what week. you've been playing besides. Yeah. All right. <laughs> besides my usual round of Monster Hunter Warframe, oh, the division, that stuff, I have been playing Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel. Why? Because I have it. Wow. <laughs> Listen to that judgment. This is. This no, is that's, that's, that's like at the most left field I could have. Expected, honestly. I I Wait, have. What did you say, Chibi? Army of Two, the Devil's Cartel. No, oh, the cool. reason he's asking because it's a co-op game, but yeah. I have no one to play with. <laughs> I'm playing with the AI. Oh. And oh. It, it's it's part three in the series. The whole point of the Army of Two series was like you and an actual friend, like doing all these like cool like co-op moves and like you know. Taking yeah, I, I remember. I loved Army of Two one. Yeah. I didn't. I've I've never played it with anyone else. It was just me and the bot, like the entire time. <laughs> That's like playing RE5 by yourself, man. Yeah, I know. I, I played RE5 with people, not with Deadpool because he was like too hoity toity and was playing with chocolate. That's fine, but <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and the thing is, the third one, they actually like you know how remember the original Army of Two, like I things don't. would light up. Well, I mean, like if you started firing up, you would like. You would start glowing in color. Like there were like really clear indicators of who had aggro and how that worked. Three, not so much. They they kind of like pared it down. It's it's more of a standard shooter. There's there's like this overkill ability which like gives you infinite ammo and explosive ammo. And if you activate yours and your partner at the same time, it goes into like bullet time and stuff. But there's there's something called two vision, which I guess highlights people. But I've, <laughs> that's I've found the a worst user. name. T period double w period o period oh that's even they, worse they, they even said it's it's trademarked like that's what game. you get for making a clone of a game that's already generic as fuck yeah oh i just unlocked the the isaac from dead space mask by the way anyway um Neat. yeah it's i'm playing through it it's it's okay it's not as good as the first one i still need to go back and play well i don't need to but i will the uh, the fortieth day, which was the second one. This is yeah. actually the cap on the trilogy, so we'll see. It's the it's something finale. on my backlog. I'm playing through. Also, my stream of 
uh, Fist North Star, my my super late night stream continues. I'm currently on chapter thirteen. You're of, still I playing think, that first 15. one? Yeah, Can's Rage. Yeah, the, the bad one with the bikes. Yeah. No, I I I hundred percented that game. I I'm I'm aware. I I don't know why. I don't know why I hundred percented that game. Like I don't. Oh, I never watched no, Fist of North Star, and I don't like yeah. Warrior games that much. I know why. No, it I wasn't the Chivos. What day did it? Yeah, you fuck it was. <laughs> it wasn't completely the Chivos. What? what? <laughs> so, sometimes you... I've been getting a steady stream of achievements. It doesn't seem that hard. It, it was it... at a time in your life where you had GameFly and you were ordering <sighs> everything on its thing. Called out. And maybe you were getting out. all the achievements. That's I, why. Do, do you ever just find a game that you're just like, this is mindless? Yeah, it, like yes. like Warframe. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Yeah, like, no, no, get... that was Assassin's Creed for me. Yeah. Okay, I think that's I'm playing Fistler Star for two reasons. Well, three. No, two. One, because I found it at GameStop for like three bucks. <laughs> yeah, that was me and Rumble Roses. I literally found that for three bucks. Nice. Two, the same reason I, I play the, the Dynasty Warriors Gundam games. It's actually a pretty decent synopsis of the entire, like, the entire story of whatever they're trying to tell. Like I, I'm not I, in it so much for the comment. Yeah, it, it's giving put you Gundam quite there, but I understand what you're saying with that. Yeah, I yeah, played the it. It's giving me like the saga. It's giving me all, plus all this little side stuff. There's voice acting. There's cutscenes. There's you know, like oh yeah, I'm beating the crap out of people, and the combat's gotten better. Originally, it was just like one combo, and then I kept having to like unlock stuff to like build it, which is. I'm fine with unlocking moves in like character action games or whatever, but usually you have a little more variety at the start. Yeah. Instead of just the one combo. But yeah, it's I'm going through the whole series. I've seen little bits and pieces that I I didn't know were part of the story before, and now, you know, I'm almost done. And now I'll get on to Dream World, which is like super just like normal Dynasty Warriors. It's different from the main game. What is it called? Oh, that's what I've been What? What was it called? Uh, Green? Fist North Star. No, what did you say? Green Road? Dream Mode. Sorry. Oh, Dream Mode, right, where you play as yeah. the other people, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you can mix and match, like, stories, and, like, progress goes around and stuff. Because, yeah, in the in single player, like, I was talking to Potate about this. The thing I dislike the most about the Warriors games is how ev all the quote-unquote enemies are just paper cutouts. Like, no one really attacks, no one's really a threat, there's no, like, actual problem. It's just, you're just there... To build up your meter so you can like take on the boss. Yeah, no. And it once you less, once you see the later. structure and are like, oh, I just have to go. I'm going to just go run to the objective. That's what I'm going to do. That's how I played Hyrule Warriors. Was like it, it's less 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 even in Hyrule Warriors because like there's there's enemies in that where it's like they're not just paper cutouts. There are you have to do a special thing. You have to be on your toes. Like, yeah, a lot of them, especially in stuff like, I'd say all the way up to, yeah, I don't even have a list of Warriors games in front of me, but, like, probably all the way up to, like, late 2000s, early 2010s. They were, like, super cookie cutter they, until... Yeah, they were definitely, recently. but they, they definitely yeah. have put in some... Like, no, they've upped their game some, because in Fist North Star, single, the single player campaign, yeah. the enemies are kind of a threat. They will do yeah. damage to you, they'll, like, gang up, they'll, they'll do stuff. When you go into dream mode, yeah, there it's basic like there's just there's definitely like buds. at the beginning it's definitely still a breeze and they slowly introduce oh hey this guy this guy's gonna fuck you in the butt. <laughs> I got I'm then, glad we got a clean read of that. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's take two. Okay. All right, so that's that's what I've been up to. Okay. Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool. Um. Been playing a lot of tabletop simulator. That's, yeah, that's been a nice. big thing this last week. Uh, some buddies from work. We've been getting together and doing real life tabletop stuff, which has been fucking amazing. And wait, is that what you're doing on Saturday, or are you working? Because like, what, if you're doing Saturday? on Saturday, this Saturday, well, I mean, like generally you say you're not unavailable on Saturdays. Like, no, I'm working. Like, oh, okay. Because crap, I, I want to yeah. get on some of that, but I've only yeah. got the weekend. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah, we were playing on Wednesday, right? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Cool. So gonna... so what's what's happening is I, I might be leaving my current job soon. Um, 
No, I am leaving my current job by November, regardless. Okay. Uh, but in October, I'll be looking for a new job and possibly signing up for financial aid for school. Nice. Did you do the governor's uh, waiver thing? I don't know. We'll, we'll look into all that. But, like... You yeah, so so I don't know. I might have my Saturdays free, the, the thing. All right. Um, I'm, I'm planning at the job to look at, be like, hey, I can't work Sundays, I can't work Saturday nights, and I can't work on this day of school. And this yeah. day of school, yeah. then be like, I can work any time other than that. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, so I've been doing a lot of tabletop sim, been doing Red Dragon in, uh, been doing a lot of betrayal, and that's been glitchy lately. Um, online in real life, it's been great. I, pst, it, it's weird though, because like I keep running into the same. We, we've played that game what, like thirty times total, ever. I think I played like three times with you guys, but yeah, I probably played it like thirty times. There's over a hundred of the different like endings, and I've maybe gotten six. And I don't know why. And I know they're all possible. It's just like some are more rare or I'm just unlucky. I don't know. But yeah. Um, so yeah, tabletop sim. And then on my Switch, I was going to get... Um, I was going to get Super Mario Party. But then I was like, why should I bother? I don't have anybody near me who's playing yeah and there's no the online mode is trash oh it is the garbagest <laughs> because I it's, would just not mini games. it's just mini would... games yeah, it's, it's just mini it's games yeah it's just mini games select mini games with lag i hear bad lag wow All right. so like i would suffer that if it was the full game like you know because it's like oh hey they finally did it it's online there's lag but i don't care but it's Whoa. it's it's Monkey. Nintendo. That one thing you always wanted, somehow Monkey's just pop. yeah. Um. Yeah. We 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 uh the roommates got that and we played around and it's it's weird. It's weird because like stars are cheaper. Things seem to move faster though. But isn't it like max like twenty twenty five turns? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so just fifty. And just. Like, the game feels like it moves faster, but also, like, there's there's still the Mario Party bullshit, you know? And the bonus stars at the end is just, like, you know, here's who landed on the most green spaces. Here's who, well, you know, uh, was the slowest. You get a star. And it's like, Well, you see, according this. to the record, it's not a game of luck or bullshit. It's a skill-based game. It's a skill-based yeah. game. You just suck. That's clear. You can. It's it's clear from their testing. He's won five out of their ten games. I don't. I don't give a heck. I don't give a flip. <laughs> oh, damn, such a shit. Is that... It's it's, un, it's uneven. The giant bomb team. East Coast gets Dan and Vinny. West Coast only gets Ben. Only. It's fine. And he's Sorry. like a tamer version of Dan or Vinny, not even Dan. When it comes to his pranks, I he's more of a he's more anime, more he's more in there. I don't know. I like Ben. A lot of people don't. A lot of people no, don't, no, especially no, if you look at the Dan. YouTube comments. It's, it's, it's changed. It's changed. No, I like Ben. It, the, the problem for me was always his his voice was uncomfortable. I'm I'm yeah, just like it, I'm just getting used to it. It's That's definitely awesome. something that took getting used to because at first I did not like him at all. Uh, and then we had the Giant Bomb 2017 which Game of the Year I still, Which I still haven't listened to because of, you know, stuff. There's, uh, there's, I, I, I didn't finish listening to it because uh... I <laughs> listened to it the whole way through and holy shit, how does Abby still have a job? It, it, oh, she, uh... Man, I don't like talking shit about people, but like, some, it made her seem disingenuous about a lot of things. Let me just put it that way. Oh yeah, no, for sure. She, her bias is showing, clearly. Anyway, is that you, Deadpool? As far as games, 
Uh, Warframe, Tabletop Sim, Undertale, and Okami. Yeah, Okami. I got into Okami. Uh, on Undertale? Yeah. On Switch? Okay. On the Switch. Yeah, because okay. it came out. Yeah. Yep. And I kind of want to get The World Ends With You. What, did it just come out? On hmm. Switch? Yeah. They'll both, yeah, both a bit ago. Hmm. All right. Okay, I hear Shiki is Wait, super no. OP. We, we didn't ask the Cali. Oh. No, what well, I mean, we're still on you. You're, you oh, said the world ends I'm, with you. I'm done. You, oh. Okay. You're done. I'm dumpster fire. Fine. Um, <laughs> fine. We'll close the lid on Sorry, that dumpster. What, you're asking about Shiki? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I heard that the co-op mode in World Ends With You is kind of messed up, and that Shiki's, like, damage is ridiculously compared have, to uh, Neku. I, I have no idea. Uh, I didn't get there. Okay. Fine. Kelly. <laughs> Fine. I guess we won't talk about this game. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. I've been... Okay. So, Xbox Adventures with Kelly. Um, mm -hmm. The Jump Force... Yeah, uh, The World Went Into With You just came out on Switch. Like, this past week. Um, I tried to play the Jump Force beta, but it has not worked on Xbox at all. Um, Oof. At all, period. Uh, like, just Xbox? Yes. Okay. Um, I, I've seen recordings from friends playing on PS4, so... <laughs> um, I play the game... I Okay, so I'm... Like, thanks to Come On Sun Gaming, I'm still on some YouTuber list, and I get, like, emails all the time. They're just like, hey, try try this retro platformer I'm making. Uh, try Football Manager 2018. Try, uh... One, one of those I got was a beat-em-up called Coffee Crisis. And I was like, yeah, no, okay, this one I'll respond to. And I got a code, and I tried it out finally. This was, like, two months ago when I got the code, and I finally tried it. Uh, okay. Um, have you ever touched the game and like immediately it felt bad to control? Like this was yes. This was bad. This was. I've so never. What you're saying is it's Xenoverse One again. I you're you're gonna have to explain. Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Well, yeah, I I gathered that, but uh, but yeah, I don't think he played it. So I did not. Oh, how, how did it feel bad? Oh man, yeah, just camera and combat was not really great eh. at all. So, so eh. like, I played this beat 'em up, coffee, coffee Crisis. One, it's supposed to be like a metal thing. Like, there's metal music all the time, but nothing about it looks metal or acts metal. It's all about some alien invasion, and like, you play as these two baristas. And the only metal thing in there is just, like, all these coffee beans are, like, demon beans. And I'm like, what? Huh? Okay. Um, and, like, the game's just made bad. Like, uh, um, like, enemy with pro enemies with projectiles, like, the start of the animation of them trying to shoot the projectile would hit you. Like, the projectile had not even come out yet. And, like, like them like pulling up their arms to shoot the projectile at you was like the thing hitting you. I, it just it, it was a bad game. I I have not played the game and immediately been opposed to it so quickly. Jeez. Um you, like how much did you pay for it? No, no. I like I said, I oh, I got a code right, for okay. it cuz I'm still on some YouTuber list. Yeah. Um Anyway, uh Let's see, I've been playing the Overwatch uh, Halloween event. J they brought Junkin' Stein back, and Symmetra's new alt makes that really annoying <laughs> because it cuts off half the stage. Like, it's that giant shield that just goes e across the stage. So, like, uh -huh. when you're playing on this tiny stage, uh, cutting off half of the stage sucks, especially when you're playing as Torb and your turret can't shoot anything <laughs> for, like, ten seconds. Um... So it feels a little harder because of that, like uh, harder than last year, you know. Uh, but otherwise, nothing about it has changed other than the characters you can play. Um, right, they, and how how good and more. hard it is. What what Deadpool? Like, no, no, sorry. Go ahead, Chibi. <laughs> no, I was just gonna ask. Like, didn't they make major changes to like take people out of support 
category. How did that change the game? Uh, so they changed Symmetra a lot. Um, she's now offense because, uh, like, they change like her. She can't. She can only. Sh- uh, she's completely different now. It's fucking crazy. Her her laser shoots straight, and uh, her turrets. She can only shoot at three, but also she can't just place them. She like launches them straight out, and so you so it's neat. It, it, it's it's kind of cool because you can throw them like across a fucking stage behind somebody and get the jump on them. It the turrets do more damage and slow people down more, but also you can only use three of them now. Um, you know she. Her ult, like I said, is that giant shield that goes across the fucking... Like, it It literally just... It's a wall. It's a giant wall. Bigger She's, than maze? She still does a lot of damage. Yeah, no, it, it literally goes across the entire stage. Like, up and down. Jeez. And left to right. And, like, just wherever you do it, that's where it cuts off. So that that's why, like, her doing it in Junk and Sign is such a pain in the ass. Because it's cutting off half the stage. And it's such... It's just so like the AI actually uses that ability, right? Yeah, yeah. It's always right there at the halfway point of the stage. Wow, and that's fucking awful. It's annoying as shit. It's annoying as shit, especially with the rip tires. And when but you it's, wait, it's always the same thing. Yeah. Oh, then they just programmed it that way. That's. I it, it help. I it, it it at least keeps it consistent for this PVE thing. It but, is consistent, but I would have loved to see them testing out the AI going in there and just being like... Doing it right next to the door or whatever, yeah. That would be terrible. Doing it next to the door or like doing it so that it's angled slightly so one half of the map is safe where you can kill everything and the other half of the map isn't like... God, that would be terrible. That would be so terrible. <laughs> Uh, I, I've still been having fun with Junk and Sign. I don't know. I, I played with Alps a couple if nights ago. If only they left it as a game mode year round or something. I yeah, God. If they just like yeah. put a man versus machine mode in this fucking game, I would be playing a lot more. I would. I think I'd mostly just be playing that if that was the case. Yeah, I I would be playing this game a lot more. I I only play during events, and then even when it's like the summer games, I only play Lucio Ball. You know, see, like if I, if I could for a second, see, I think the thing with Overwatch versus TF2 was like with TF2 when they added man versus machine. I liked the PvP in that game because it didn't have any bullshit matchmaking. There were servers that I found as home. And I could chill with people, and if someone was being a racist asshole, uh, they would ban them. And yeah, it's because it was a Valve game, back. and you know it was structured and, to be like that. And cheaters and hackers w- would just get banned. They wouldn't be able to sit on a server forever. They would just get immediately banned manually. You know. Yeah. And and with Overwatch, man, if uh, Overwatch had idling, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's another thing if Overwatch had idling. But uh, in Overwatch, I, I don't enjoy the PvP. It de- I, yeah, it's because I, there's so it, many characters. It me... No, it's not. It taught me the final lesson in that, personally, I just hate matchmaking in PvP-based games. I think it's fucking garbage. I understand the idea of wanting to find the best player and wanting to be competitive and all that shit. Um... I don't enjoy that when I want to have fun. Like you were saying earlier with with how to spend your time when you have a limited amount of time. Yeah, yeah. And no, I, how, I understand. Like, I want to have fun with my time, and my fun is not going in and losing. This is this is grinding to me in the same way that grinding in MMO is to you. I have to grind to get better in this mode. That I don't want to really get better in. But you're depending on other people. You have, you know, two people decided to be snipers in this six-person team. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I get that like, completely. It's like, I'd rather just have a server that I'm running off of my computer or I'm paying someone somewhere else to run. Yeah, the, the paying part is the thing. Is like, yeah, I'll, I'll pay to run this. I will pay the company. I will pay Blizzard Activision, whatever the two, three bucks a month that they need for this upkeep just so that I can have moderation controls on my own server. 
to have your own private dark web. That. Just to have my own private server that I can chill with and hang out with people and not. Calm down, Stacy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> We're even going there this podcast. Just gonna delete the recordings, delete the Twitch uh, it was, archive. It was Jesus. the worst. It's we'll the burn worst. this mother down, and there'll be no no trace, no clues, nothing. This is the secret podcast. It didn't happen, <laughs> dude. I had Dispenser texting me, and then I, I go on Twitter, live and tweeting. she's live tweeting it. And I'm like, stop, stop it. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Um. Sorry. All right. Anyway. Like, it, yeah, yeah. We no more complaining about games right now, except for. <laughs> Anyways, except for the rest of the complaining we're gonna be doing. But... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, I, let's, I, let's start I mean... this shit. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you have more. I've gotten right. way back into Solitarica now for some reason, because I was just like, I've been downloading Solitaire games and trying to find a good one, and I'm like, oh yeah, I was playing Solitarica, and. I still haven't finished a run of this goddamn game. <laughs> Is that on Steam or? Yes, uh, but also I'm I'm literally playing it right now, um, on my phone. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I it's it's free on phones and you know. Solitaire VR. It's. Not it. it's it Solitarica is a very good game. It just makes me angry. And it's like, you know, you it, have you ever played it? it it's 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 run based. It's it's run based solitaire where you fight monsters. Oh, this game. And yeah, you yeah. like you you like upgrade stuff and you unlock things to like for the next run. Okay. Yeah, like I've okay. finally upgraded. Like, uh, you can a, as you beat each monster, you go to a shop and you know typical roguelike stuff. Roguelite. Like, you go to a shop, buy upgrades, you know, like, I start with, you know, more health or whatever. I, the the power-ups get more creative when you get into the later levels, like, reflecting attacks and stuff. It, it I, I really like this game, and also I hate it, because it makes me upset. And I have not, I have not finished a run, I've played so many hours of this goddamn game, on Steam and so my phone, and I have not finished a run. <laughs> You know how, like, when when you're having a difficult conversation, you want to start it off with the good and then have a bad part in the middle and then end with good? This the podcast sandwich. is like the reverse. The reverse sandwich. It's like <laughs> bad, and then we're going to get to the good shit in the middle, and then it's going to be bad. This is the double down of podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag eyes on green. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, that's, uh, there's the title for you. No, Anyways. No, I meant the KFC thing, you nerd. <laughs> You yeah, freaking I goober. I know. I know what you meant, and it's still accurate. <laughs> you charlatan. Um, I've never had a double down. <laughs> Neither We're have not I. going there. Please. All right, Kelly. All right. No, let's talk about gross food. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Del Taco, America's number one Mexican restaurant. Oh, my God, please. <laughs> <laughs> we have a subject list and everything. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All right. Do you, I, do you want do you want to talk about news or do you just want bullshit yes. for an hour? Because I'd rather um, do that. We can we can do both. We can do I'd both. like to get through the news and then we can bullshit. Fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll we'll do the releases later because you know fuck it. Um. Okay. Just one second, quick. Um. I want to ask a question of the group. Like it's going off of what uh, Ken mentioned right now in terms of the MMR ladder. Like, how often do you find yourself getting to the point where, I know the whole, like you're supposed to like play, get better, find out where you are, but how many times have you ever found yourself stuck, like on the plateau, like doing your your placements for the next one, and you just like okay, there is some like sucking on your part possibly, but there's oh, those things like they'll, they'll like they'll throw know? people who shouldn't be there into your team, and you yeah. just like. Run, get into this horrible run of just losses, and you know you should have won those games. Yeah. Do you want to know what happens in that case? <laughs> what happens? You delete your account and you start over, and then you immediately eclipse the previous ranks. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's how the fucking CSGO. That's how fucking everyone gets past those ranks. It's bullshit. You have to basically just delete 
the uh, the match Entire history and your account Ugh. and start over. And because you're so good at the beginning, they'll place you higher. Oh, so it actually will like literally place you beyond yeah. that point. Oh, okay. Yes, it's bullshit. <laughs> That's fun, I guess. I mean, it's I, not. No, I, I like having one account and one thing and just going with that. Like, it, it's why I never got into like ladders and, and like Path of Exile and stuff. You know, it's just, I just like playing what I have and sticking to that. I. But anyway, I I, I've always had this thing with a lot of games, where if I take it too seriously. It stops being enjoyable. Period. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, oh yeah. Like, uh, my Call of Duty friends back in uh, Modern Warfare One and Two. Yeah, they were they were like they were teetering on the brink of like planning and doing rank stuff, and I was like, uh, I don't want to commit that time. I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. Every every time I've been near that point, like I, I was in a TF2 clan. Nice. And. TF2. Like our 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 leader, he he rage quit the clan because like we it the reason I joined that clan quote unquote was because it was a bunch of friends and we wanted to have fun playing that goddamn game but we were like trying to compete with clans who were like taking the game seriously and we lost super hard against yeah. other clans and it's like look man I this is it. This is a video game that I am playing for fun. You know, it's it's a video game where you're shooting somebody with a healing beam. Like, I can only take this so seriously. And uh, I, every time I reach that point with games where I want to take it seriously, I stop myself. Because I know I'm not gonna... I'm gonna hate the game after that. Yeah, besides, there's no conk jumping, so how seriously can you take it? <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. <laughs> all right, all right so <laughs> this is a, a public service announcement uh I, I maybe you've heard about it but uh you should set your ps4 messages to private because uh there's some malware thing going around that's actually breaking systems oh yeah it's yeah it's some sort of security exploit or something but from reports it's it's not even opening the message it's getting that message like in as your a system. notification. Yeah, as a notification. Um, if because I think one or two people here mentioned that they they set their stuff to private so it wouldn't just come in automatically to their inbox, and they started getting like friend requests from like weird places, like people trying to get like, "Hey, buddy, put me on your friends list. Like, let me in." So yeah, just go to private. Don't don't accept any like funky like uh, friend requests from people you don't know. You know that sort of thing. Also, previously the fix was you had to just like straight up factory reset your system, just erase everything and like get it out of there. But uh, according to here, let me let me link it to the chat. Supposedly, the a possible fix is just rebuilding your database. I don't know how you do it, but it's a function within the within the PS4 system itself. Or be like me and never use your PS4. <laughs> That is enough. Yeah, if you haven't used your PS4, you can, by the way, go on to like the Sony website and log in. And I believe there's a way to check and delete messages off there just in case you're worried. And oh. you don't want to yeah, fuck I, with that shit. I probably should do that, yes. Yeah, doing that would be a good idea. And then like in there, you should also have the settings to disable it so people can't just send messages randomly to you. So, yeah. Good Excuse one. Excuse me. Bless you. Uh, for those of you drinking at home tonight, I'm having a Ziegenbach. That is all. Um, all right. Uh, what is next on the agenda? That that was literally all that needed to be said. Just watch your messages. Well, yeah, that was the big important one because it'll it can actually just screw your stuff over. All right. Um. That source is a YouTube video, so fuck that. Um, Wait, which one? Hold on. For the Microsoft, uh, the Microsoft streaming Microsoft. thing. Here. Basically, That's real. What are you talking about? No, I, the the source. It's not uh, a story. It's an official video. Uh, basically, yeah. using their Azure platform, Microsoft has 
started an internal beta of game streaming. Oh yeah, like, xCloud. Uh, yeah. xCloud. Project xCloud. Streaming to phones, to PC, to pretty much anything that will accept the stream. Yeah. They have... Um, Opening they have, hearts uh, to the stream. <laughs> yes. They have subsets uh, like um, code for controllers. They're, um, they've got Bluetooth controllers available and like anything a phone will take. And they're working on multiple versions of touchscreen emulation for a controller. I don't know how good that's going to be. <laughs> Not great. Who knows? But they're they're trying and working on it. And basically, what they did was they came up with a server. Like they they took the Xbox apart, they broke it down to components, and basically came up with server blades that house like half a dozen Xboxes on each blade. Oh and no no just... no no no! Not just Is that. It more. It's not okay. So it's essentially just GPUs and CPUs. Yeah. And they're not doing all the processing. This is the thing they were talking... When they first launched the Xbox, they kind of talked about this. Yeah, they're distributed cloud stuff. Yeah, and it, so it's going to be doing... Not all of the processes for the games are going to be run on these servers. The things that are going to be happening on these servers are, like, visual and some, like rendering of objects in distance mm. so the majority of graphical processing is not going to be done on the devices it's going to be mostly like hey i pressed a button and so the character in game they've actually like split so like for halo in for instance it's going to be like you're running they kind of did this for halo i'm sorry i'm i'm, I'm trying to jump around like while That's also fine. doing this which is why i'm kind of distracted but um that was it's a wall. Kind of, it shut up. It's kind of like um, if you did you guys ever play Halo Custom Edition, the 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 anniversary one? Nope. It wasn't well, that just Combat Evolved CE. Yeah. So yeah. that one had the anniversary skin on top of it, which you could press at a button at any moment with a button, and you would swap yeah. in between the old graphics and the new graphics, right? Yeah, it's a bunch of bunch of like uh, retro games like uh, Maniac Mansion. So and that. what I understand is there'll be a very, very, very basic version of the game running on the device itself, and then all of the graphics will be streaming in over the network. So, so like it polygons, will... like basic meshes, that sort of thing. Yeah, but okay. so it'll be very responsive gameplay wise, and graphically it should still look good if you have a good enough connection to their server. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't have a good enough connection, it'll be running, like, lower graphics. Weren't they shooting for, like, 25 megabits or something? Yeah. Like, that's their test platform speed? Yep. Yeah. The, this I has mean, the same problem every single streaming service has, is that America's internet, ser internet infrastructure sucks. Not as bad as before. Very, oh, it's very still recent bad. No, it's still bad, but very recently... A lot of major areas have taken like massive steps, thanks to the fact that AT and T is no longer hogging everything. But yeah, still. that that and the fact that California just set in law their own neutrality bill. So yeah, we're <laughs> getting fed up here. <laughs> so if that actually goes through, then yeah. uh, the internet here will get super awesome. Yeah, which <sighs> will spread. So. In 10 years, it might not suck as much. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. We'll just get fucked over by a different law. That's all. That's anyway. all. Probably. Um, oh, speaking of uh, pie-in-the-sky ideas. No, no, but uh, the other reason it is, it's not going to suck, not just because of the net. The other reason. Which is? Mi Microsoft actually has fucking data centers everywhere. Oh, yeah. So, like, with Twitch, they have... Like, next what? to AWS, you know, and like, Google, they've, they've, yeah. they've got just Pre... massive virtualization networks. Pre-Amazon, Twitch had how many data networks they were working with? <clears throat> yeah. Like, maybe two dozen? And now they have every fucking corner in the world that you can stream to. And then everybody else can watch it nearly seamlessly, you know? Mm -hmm. And so with Microsoft, they have even more. Yeah, they're the like Windows in the people. video, they they show you like multiple complexes, these giant like like cookie cutter buildings just full of nothing but servers, big old yeah. like AC units on the outside and stuff. Yeah, it, yeah, and it's not it, going to be like all of that areas, but they'll be in those buildings, which will mean they'll be close to you everywhere you go. 
yeah, big uh, clusters of stacks. It'll be yeah. pretty. So, yeah. So it's it's something to keep an eye out. Yeah, like, and... they've been doing a lot of cool stuff recently. They've 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 made strides since the metric days. Like Spencer's been out there like constantly going, "Hey, yeah, we know we messed up. This is what we're trying to do." I things are looking up. I'll say Why that. buy an Xbox if you can play an Xbox on anything? That was yeah. like I swear one of the tags in that video or something. And that 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 like that ties right into their Game Pass. You don't yeah. if you know yeah, if you either, can have your games way they're anywhere, their, your money. Yeah, yep. exactly. They're they're building like this whole this whole uh, business that, like business model where it's like, hey, this is what we have to offer, and you can have it where you want it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, the Game We're Pass is their future. Xbox hardware, I think, is their past. Besides, maybe the controller. Well, I mean, yeah, the controller is really good. It's a standard, you know, since built into Windows 10 and all, but. And then there's the red, supposedly. The, but the that's new... just going to be a streaming yeah. platform. Yeah. So we'll see. Scale when down, announces. cheaper to cheaper to buy. Yeah. You know, yeah. Cable. We'll see if that we'll announces. See. So. All right. We'll what's see. what's up? What's up next, Kelly? Uh, PSN name oh. changes are coming soon. Finally, maybe. <laughs> Perhaps confirmed. Maybe. Conf- this is on an official PlayStation blog yeah. post. So. Uh, basically, we've been getting reports for the past six months at least people people talking at trade shows and stuff going oh yeah like just different developers going yeah we've been getting like these questionnaires and like these like data sheets and white papers from sony going hey um yeah if we were gonna possibly change like allow people to change their names uh these are the infrastructure things that you guys would have to like code for and all of the multi-platform people were like yeah we already did that for other systems for everything else <laughs> <laughs> Only, only the Sony only developers would be like, oh, okay, wait, how do you do that? Yeah, and then they would ask. Didn't Rocket anyone? League actually turn on? Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. So. So, so yeah, they're they're getting they're getting pulled, kicking and screaming into the current the era of yeah. So I'm 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 reading this official PlayStation <laughs> blog post uh, posted on the 10th. Uh, there is going to be a preview program for this PSN online ID change. Feature beta, mm-hmm. um, much much like the uh, the crossplay beta. Yeah. Ugh, in yeah. case everything explodes and goes in the on a fire wreck, they can say it was just the beta. Man, this crossplay shit is still so annoying. Like I <laughs> I had to go like, Serge asked me earlier like, hey, how do I get crossplay working on on Fortnite? And I had to Google it, and you have to have an Epic account. And I had an Epic account, and I was getting emails almost every day just like hey somebody's trying to hack your account um anyway oh that shit holy crap that's why i don't want him to have an epic account because i was getting those emails almost every day of like hey somebody's trying to get into your information because this is the most popular game in the world well you might have that galaxy skin you don't know they don't know oh my god (laughs) anyway yeah, uh, sorry. Get back to the name change. Uh, first change is free, and changes after that will be ten bucks, which is the same thing just, as Xbox does. Yeah, it lines up with that. So for PlayStation yeah. Plus members, it will cost five bucks. Ah, added benefit. Um, when you change your online ID, you will have the option to display your previous ID. So kind of like Steam. Um, oh yeah, and also it's it's only a name change for the PS4. Yeah, no, I, the yeah. It, it's this infrastructure that is so ingrained that they, I'm going to assume they're just going to leave your gamer tag the same on PS3 and Vita. Yeah, they it, they are. It's not they can't change that. Like that yeah. system is not going to happen. I was reading something up on this um, on the games subreddit. Somebody made an interesting post about how like this is the re- the direct result of the current new CEO. What's his name? Um, that yeah. guy. Papa John. Anyways, yeah, like apparently he used to be uh he was a networking dude. Like he got a degree in networking. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of like he's been pushing for them to up their actual network game to not be shit <laughs> for years. And him becoming CEO, this was like the last thing he was pushing and now everyone's it's like, like It's like what now bitches I'm in charge. Yeah. 
So yeah. he's, he seems like he's making the good decisions and not the bad ones. Um, sure which some other companies would do that, but anyways. I hear that it's also been part of this, like, they mentioned it on the uh, the recent Bobcast as well, like, this big, like, internal power struggle between the different branches of Sony that's been going on for, like, maybe eight months at this point. Yeah, I got where it. Where a, a lot... A lot of the good decisions that made, like, PlayStation currently a leader came from, like, Sony America. Yeah. And, like, the home company is, like, trying to, like, reassert. And they're trying to, like, you know, put old thinking back in. And, you know, everyone's going up against everyone right now. Uh, Well, we'll see who wins and uh, yeah. who dies. And it seems like... When was the last time you heard news about that? Because, like... <laughs> The press leaks from Sony, I saw a clip from that the other day, and man, uh, there, there was like a, the, the email hacking on Sony. Yeah. And I saw one of the emails with them talking about like their their interactions with Marvel. Mm. And like how they wanted, like, they wanted Thor. <laughs> Like a like a game wanted... for Thor? No, they wanted Thor as like a movie property. Oh, and Daredevil for trading Spider Man for a billion dollars. Like, yeah, it's unacceptable what they're offering. Like, we need more out of this. And they were like, this is back in 2015, and they were talking about like how hey maybe we can make an animated movie verse and the Venom movie is still happening and how they wanted Emma Stone to be Carnage. And how, like... I would watch that. Eventually, they were going to bring back Tobey Maguire, and it would be Amazing Spider-Man versus Spider-Man. Um, yeah, so... Tobey Maguire is 43 years old. I how old does he look? Uh, he's always going to look in his <laughs> late 20s. 20s. Oh, that's perfect. He's, he's 20. TV 20, like, now yeah. to a no with, like, 40-something-year-olds playing teenagers. Man, this this Spider-Verse movie is gonna be fucking wild. Did did you see the new trailer, the one that was at the end of Venom? No. I haven't seen anything. Oh, my God. The, the characters they're bringing in for this are nuts. I heard oh. Noir and Spider-Ham and Gwen. Uh-huh. And yeah? That, that was the thing that got me, just, like, Fucking Peter Porker for real. But it, it's not the old Peter Porker design. It's some new one they came up with. It's it's not like the the flat like pig nose with the floppy ears. Yeah, but that's it's still that's different. still a pole. That's a pole. It's still Peter Porker, dude. It's like no, I know. It's I'm just saying. It's it's like how... I would have preferred the older design, but yeah, you know, well. Don't bitch about older design. We're getting Peter Porker. Don't. I'm not bitch. Look, <laughs> I'm just saying. I would have preferred. No, no, the that's, that's the just that's saying. Fine. That's the bitching. Stop. All right. God, God, just shut up, Chibi. Just shut just up. Just shut up. <laughs> They'll get scared because right. people are bitching about it. They All right, are we getting the giant is, robot though? This is fucking Sony. Okay. They, they bitches. We, they you know bitches. what? Leopardon did show up in that <laughs> fucking Bardot? wacky comic. Is he? Uh, uh, it, it, it no, was he, one... he was in the comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He showed up. Yeah, he did. All right. Anyway. All right. Yeah. No. Okay. God, I want Emma Stone as Carnage. What the fuck? I want that. Your PG thirteen rated Carnage? Yes, no. that's a fairly. Abby Arad says, "No, yeah, no, no, no. The, He's that, not was, an R that was character. a big. That was a big thing. They wanted Avi Arad to be the their like. I don't know why Sony really loves him, so because he was there when they started doing cool shit, and he's just their guy. But he doesn't make. No. Oh my god, he doesn't. But he's 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 the executive involved and that that gives him the cachet for them to say hey everything's been good with this guy let's just keep using this guy it, yeah regardless of how much money. he actually uses he makes them money man you know i i, I was in walmart today and i saw a poster <laughs> with venom and carnage on it and i'm like why didn't you just make this movie why didn't you just do this first oh you mean venom versus carnage that'd be amazing yes. Why didn't you just do this first? Because well, because it's Sony and they're fucking retarded. That's that's it. 
Yeah. Listen. They, they are fucking retarded. They always think, oh, we have to start off with an introductory story for our, our, our movie character every time. If we don't, nobody's going to know who it is. Well, like... It was a good Eddie Brock, I will say that. That, that was about the only good thing about that movie. Wait, did you watch it? Yeah. How was it? I, I hate when movies treat me like I'm stupid. And that's exactly what Venom did. So you you dislike lots of anime. Got it. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, that is that that yes. That is yeah. a fact. I know yeah. cuz a lot of it's made for kids and you know they 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 beat you over the head with everything and yeah, yeah, okay. Continue. Yeah. No. Uh Venom uh, it's it's gotten out there. The fucking stinger for Venom is that you see Cassidy at the what end. Was... <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. It like Woody Harrelson is there, and like, it, wait, it, he's Cletus. Yes. Uh huh. And and like they try to give him the crazy red hair, and it looks bad. I don't know, but he's just like, blah 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 blah, carnage, and that's the stinger. And so like, why didn't you just make that movie? Why didn't you just make that movie instead of this stupid generic bullshit about this rich guy who uh gets symbiotes from space somehow and because fucking. They can't... And it's because spe- now they can make that movie in addition to the bad movie you didn't because, want. Because they can't take risks. Okay, I've seen... This is the third Marvel-based movie I've seen where it's just rich guy who has the same thing that the hero has fights him at the end. It's a, another one of those. And that's also upsetting to me. It's just like, this story sucks. This story just sucks. It sucks ass, and Tom Hardy's acting as Eddie Brock is the good thing in that movie. And, and they cut his, out forty his minutes. His acting of it. did not look great. No, no, it's 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 enjoyable when you're watching the movie, but yeah, also like, also like the interaction between him and Venom and is him. good. Um, it, except for a couple of parts that I just fucking hated because it was made for stupid people. Um, Someone said they make out. Yeah. You know what this movie sounds like. It sounds like a worse version of Upgraded. I've not that seen that. that just came out. Uh, yeah. I know, I know, you I know what you're talking about. And yeah. maybe... I Maybe. It just yeah. has a lot of shit that, like, literally other Marvel movies have done better. And also done to death already. Like, the villain is a rich guy. And he gets the abilities of the hero and they have the big stupid fight at the end. And I, like, the, yeah, no, he totally, like, a thing happens and, yeah, they make out. It's weird. I don't know. Uh, Who do you think slipped through the tongue? They are the tongue. (laughs) Yeah, no, it's their, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I, I I could go into it, but I won't. All right, fine. We'll keep this family friendly. We'll, we'll no, no. After. I mean, I mean, no. plot wise, I don't know. Do you fucking care about me spoiling Venom? Yes. Okay. People, people somewhere will care. We'll, it's we'll, just know. the basic rules of the minutes, and people but yeah, care the, about the movie. Yeah, yeah. That 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 was that was the thing that pissed me off about it's, that movie. It's it was, been less it was, than two weeks. It, it was stupid. It was a stupid movie, and it upset me because it. I, I hate when things think I'm stupid, and it and you and you paid for it. And it was just another you know rich guy villain who gets the powers of the the protagonist, and yeah, Ant Man did that, Iron Man did Iron that. Man did that. I I yeah. I've seen uh, it eight uh, million times. Not Thor. Technically, Black Panther, although reversal. No. So. Yeah. No. That's the opposite. <laughs> It's it's almost the same in a way, but uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, Aha, I, I am the powerful. You are not. Oh no, you have power. I'm gonna use my powerful power to power the powerful. How did we get on this? I don't even remember. Oh, Sony, Sony. Sony. Right. Sony. Change, yes. Anyways, off All right. from Sony. Next, please. Oh uh, <laughs> man. Uh, okay. This came out of uh, Europe. I think it was Spain. Was it? I, I read this particular story. Um, basically, someone uh, leaked a casting call sheet for Bully 2. That's all we know. 
yeah, yeah, that's the story. That's it. It's that's a quick it. shot, but yeah, it's there. There's definite like voice casting slash planning happening for Bully Two. Well, I sure hope nobody at Take Two has anybody else killed again. Mm. Bully was a great game. It was, yeah, but like, man, uh, Rockstar and Take Two Interactive are essentially just the mob now. So I'm, I'm good. I'm good at not buying those games ever again, please. <laughs> okay, but well, but, it, but it's the thing I like, easy. Deadpool. It's the thing I like. How dare you not like the thing I like? I I can enjoy a piece of art while thinking that the people who made it are unrepentant bastards. That's a good that's a good thing to do. That's art. that's me with a lot of things right now. Like uh I keep finding out like That's why you know, I never got a PS3. I keep finding out stories of just like when that whole Devil May Cry song thing happened. You know, oh, it's like, boy. oh, the singer for Suicide Silence is apparently a freaking creep. And, like, oh, here's another band from when I was 19 that the singer is a sexual predator. That's great. Yeah, That's cool. That, was, that, that was... seems to be happening a lot to me. I don't know why. Asian Kung Fu Them and Lost Prophets. Wait, really? Yeah. Shut up! Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that was the one I thought you were talking about. Who were you talking no. about? The other one? No, uh, Lost Prophets. That dude got arrested for pedophilia. Brand new. That dude came out as like, "Hey, I've been hitting on underage girls. I'm sorry." Um. Yeah, and this this <laughs> thing was Suicide Silence, and I didn't know about Asian Kung Fu. Fuck, man. Uh, this is. Anyway, uh, all right, we, we've crashed. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> that bumps me okay. out Fuck really this. bad. All the notes. This isn't getting uploaded anywhere. It's Might as well just turn off Audacity now. No, no, it's good. It's good. We're fine. Let's keep going. Let's power forward. We got. We got to give Brent a reason never to leave us again. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, I want to note it here. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Don't know what it would have been nice. do it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're moving along. We're fo we're following the plan. It's a good plan. We're following. Uh, Microsoft might be buying Obsidian. And they, they are they've had talk. to kickstart their past couple of games, so it's probably for the best. Yeah, no, no. they've... You're, you're, you're missing the best part of this, though. Money? No. The quote Obsidian gave to the journalist oh, yeah. when oh, asked yeah. about this. Well, you have to say both parts. Is, you know. Microsoft doesn't comment on rumors, and then Obsidian says, we don't commentate, comment on rumors except to say that rumors from By Fleetwood Mac still holds up. Yep. <laughs> and it yeah. totally does. <laughs> it, it's, like I said, it's fine. They've, they've been, they've been kind of like having a few internal problems. They've been hard up on cash. It's... Yeah. It, it, it's, it's a good move. Like, say what you will... Studios, unless say like a project gets canceled or something, they they do they do well with Microsoft resources. They they absolutely do. Microsoft gives yeah. developers, when it comes to games, nearly unlimited freedom. Just, Just make produce. stuff that sells. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't make stuff, we'll have to shut you down eventually. And like, I was looking think... through every game studio that was ever first party with Microsoft, which is what this is. You become yeah. a first party when they buy. You. Um, every single one that's ever shut down, it's always after like the head of the studio leaves, and then yeah. there's no soul. Like every and, single time, and it's like, and they're oh. like, "This is just a bunch of devs. We can put them somewhere else." Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what happened after uh, Fable and Freelancer and Mech Warrior and Microsoft Flight Sim and like. I could go on for a while, but yeah, that's what happens. They and make these they... games for a while, then the developers move on, and then... Yeah. And they prop stuff. people up regardless. Like, look at Rare with Replay and, you know, Vivio Yeah, and Rare the is still stuff. around. Yeah, they're still doing stuff. It's like, they're not high profile, but it's like, hey, you guys got ideas, you guys have IPs, let's... You're doing something? All right. What, what was the last thing Rare made again? Sea of Thieves. I think it was Replay. Oh, Sea of Thieves? Ooh. Yeah, ah. that's, that's, that's still a thing. <laughs> Is it? Hmm. Maybe, yeah. is it? Maybe it's still Rare a thing. will be around much longer than just because <laughs> the the gaming community 
didn't be that tough. didn't pick up on it. I don't know. The it, thing that it's they fine. Make the game for it's fine. It's just not a game. That's all. It's fine. <laughs> it's I don't know. Just it's it's a pirating a chat room. It it needed a better structure. That's how they, I feel about Sea of Thieves. As I understand it, from what I've read and what I've heard, I played that game. When you, they were testing it, they only yeah. tested it for 15 minutes at a time. Because people would get, like, realize what the deal was? Oh, Jesus. One sec. Okay. Uh, let's talk oh, shit about God. Deadpool while he's gone. Oh, That'd geez. be a hell of a plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Alright, um... Here, you talk about XCOM, because I don't... I don't care about Oh, XCOM. Um, uh, yeah, okay. XCOM 2 is releasing a free piece of DLC. The catch is, it's only free until, I think, early December. If you own XCOM 2 and the expansion uh, War of the Chosen, which is a really cool addition to the game, it adds it adds a special, like, elite faction of units that, like, will randomly chase you around and, like, drop in the missions after you and basically make your life hell and you have to, like, deal with them during the course of your game. If you own both of those things, that piece of DLC is free. What it is, is a bunch of one-shot missions. Uh, going over the time between the first XCOM game, which was, you know, UFO Defense, and the second one, which is sort of an alternate reality take. It's the what if you failed? What if you lost XCOM and the aliens took over and you're now a a subjugated state? Isn't that the and plot it, of the main game of XCOM 2? No, that's the plot of XCOM 2. That's what I'm explaining. Okay. It's, but basically, the, the what the DLC does is it takes you back to the time just after the fall and basically shows you like what went down, how people, like the people that survived, how they got out, how they went underground, how the resistance formed, how you got your hands on the Avenger, which is your your flying mobile base, and like just how oh, so things formed. It's up. showing the takeover. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and it, these are all like one shot missions. You can do them at any point in time, and uh, it unlocks like cosmetics, like uh, all these like resistance like outfits and like old school uh, uniforms and stuff from like the old XComs. You can take those into the the main XCOM two game with you after you beat them. I don't know what the price will be once it actually becomes a paid product, but XCOM 2 is pretty good. If you like your your grid, your grid games, your SRPGs, your tactics games, it's it's a really fun play, and this is actually a pretty good deal because the two piece the the one piece of DLC you need to have to play it adds a lot to the game. I'm just saying. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Say my piece. The last there time is. I light was in the grids was uh. Shining Force. Shining Force 2. Shining Force. That, huh. that was the last time I was in the grids. And I, I can appreciate XCOM for what it is. It's just, oh. It, it, oh. You, know, you see a game type and you're like, oh, it's one of these. Okay. I'm good. Did you ever play uh, Front Mission? No. I'm, I'm uh, well aware of it, though. That is a very badass game. Your mech-sized shotguns, your pile bunkers. It's, it's fun stuff. Yeah, no. It's, it's for it's, robot it, people. Yeah, I know, but for Mission 3 is just light enough. It's 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 a little anime, but it's just light enough that it's it's not super ridiculously involved and complex. If you ever wanted to give it a shot, I'm just saying. You know, it, uh, for some, like, you know, absorbing all the quote-unquote content I have over the years, I've noticed, yes. like, more people seem to like Shining Force 2 more than the original, and I was, I'm the opposite. I, like... Really? I got really into the first Shining Force and just didn't care that much about the second one. Like I, the like first. What they change? I don't I, think I've played any. It's just different characters. Like I've played both, oh. and I'm like, I don't know. Like Shining Force one has a character named uh, Domingo. It's like a floating alien dude that only has one HP and only does one <laughs> damage. Or no, no, no. Okay, that's th no. The alien Domingo is cool. The character I'm talking about with the weird dumb stats is called Yogurt. And he comes with an item called the Yogurt Ring that you can equip on other characters to make them Yogurt. And Yogurt ha is like this mole thing with a helmet. And, like, he only does one dance. He's a joke character. Total joke character. Like, literally doesn't do anything productive. So why, why would you make another character him? I don't know. Because it's dumb. Okay. <laughs> That's all. 
this is pre-achievement, so there's nothing like that going on. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, the it was it was good. It was good classic JRPG shit. Like the final boss was Dark Dragon. You know, like yeah. it was very classic. Like I think that's why uh fucking Blue Dragon appealed to me because it's very <laughs> extremely classic RPG of just like here's the bad guy and some you're... would say almost painfully so. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. But but like not Dragon Quest length of content. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like. Like every Dragon Quest that has come out since eight, I've been like, "Oh, this looks interesting." Oh, but it's as long as Dragon Quest eight was, and I tried to play it twice, and I didn't finish it either time because there's just so much game there. I don't know. It's an RPG. I again, I I just haven't had the patience for them in a while. So, well, you also don't have much time, like outside of your responsibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I I can totally get that. Yeah. Uh, I have a I have a 3ds full of geez, all these like massive RPGs. Yeah, I I can't I can't start on any of them because they're time commitments. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I try to just take little bites out of one. Mom and... almost burned the whole house down. That was great. Sweet. Awesome. All right. You okay? Yeah, he's obviously here. It should be fine unless he's like podcasting with like a fire behind him. You know. No, she she uh. I mean, I'm fine, yeah, but, like... That sounds like a fire. She she hooked up the gas to the barbecue. Uh-huh. This is, uh... Anyways, the can's top, the, the, the valve, was loose. And she was like, I smell gas! And I go out there, and she was like, yeah, I was trying to turn it on, and it just, it just wouldn't light. And I'm like, well, when you smell gas, and it doesn't light, don't try and light fires. So, yep. hey, I'm alive. That's, That's a good sound. Yes. Thank you for yep. being alive, Deadpool. <laughs> um, we, we're going to go return that and friend. get a non-leaky one. And Do we yeah. need to talk about Epic suing somebody? Because they do that a lot. Who did they you. sue They're this very time? Litigious. We Who did they sue this time? Uh, a mod maker. It, it That's... There's a lot of that. I don't know. Oh, a hacker or a mod maker? A hacker who sells magical powers for Fortnite. They're a YouTuber who uh, runs their right. own Not their mod. own mod slash yeah, they, they're, they're basically telling me about this. They're basically running a YouTube channel to promote the like, hey, th- these are the magical powers you could have if you buy our product. Sir. Yeah. Weren't you telling was me he about some himself? dude that was like selling magic powers on Fortnite or whatever? <laughs> On YouTube, what? weren't you telling me about that? What was it? Some dude selling magic powers or whatever that are just hacks. No. No. Okay. Never mind. He's right. literally yeah, he's literally it's... playing Fortnite right now. So. <laughs> ah. Uh, is he in fifth place? He, yeah. He he bounces back and forth. Okay. Um. Right. So yeah, it just. I googled like Epic a, Games non- sues somebody and like I a million stories came up from the it's past a two years. It's a non-story, except in the idea of like, hey, how about we don't call these people modders for the love of fucking god? It confuses the public. Yep. They are not modders. These are hackers. They are trying to manipulate the game code to give people an unfair advantage in a competitive environment. Oh, so that's what mods with a Z means. Yes. No, that's oh, no, <laughs> a C K. Modders, on the other hand, modify oh, usually no. a single player experience or, in some way, try and enhance a game's beauty that doesn't fuck up the game for anyone else. Yeah, no, but you you want to keep your games natural. Mod. You want See. you want your games to float on their own. You know it. Uh, appreciate a natural beauty with your games. You know what I mean. Look, man, Elder Scrolls games were meant to be modded. Game positivity. Like, at the other end of the the pipeline, like you don't even know what the hell. Like it resembles nothing what came in, but it's still beautiful. Oh, we didn't even talk about. No, I don't. What? What now? I I don't even know what he's talking about. Don't worry about it. We can. I know what he's it. talking about, and I hate it. Then don't and talk about I'm it. About this. Don't talk about yeah. it. 
No, it's it's. It this was is a posi this cast. Week. This is this is not a podcast. This is a posi cast. It was cast. news this week, and it, it has to do heavily with Brojo and uh, me and Star Wars, and the right. things we were following. Uh, it was an Unreal Engine four oh. odd, and Lucasfilm sent a takedown notice saying that if you do not delete all of the files, if you do not delete the website, if you do not remove the name Star Wars from everything ever, we will sue you after October 17th. So the the shut the fuck up continues. You should not it ever talk about it. It absolutely does, yeah. but on top of that, um, I'm done with Star Wars. Which, if you have ever listened to me talk on a podcast... Um, Boy, yeah. have I. Yeah, I'm done with Star Wars. I, I, I'm pretty much just Legends, and I'm not engaging with any new stuff. Legends is no longer a thing. It doesn't matter. And the new stuff is Lucas... Is is Disney trying to make a billion-dollar franchise, except it has no one at the helm. And uh, if they had anyone at all paying attention, shit like this wouldn't happen. Which is negative fan reaction to things happening in your community. Look, Disney is the reason our copyright system is so fucked up in the first place. So yet, this, Marvel, is, this is it. Far from and, the yet, and yet, Marvel Games is not this shit. And yet, Marvel mods for games don't get takedown notices. And yet, like, because the Marvel arm of this isn't bad it's they have no one at the helm paying attention like that's that's the problem there's no care no one gives a shit except for the head of rebels what's his name david melosi am mm. i saying it right the guy who uh, made solo the organa wars, the guy who made the clone war series and the star wars rebel series is the only one who gives a shit but he doesn't have any fucking power so it doesn't matter Maybe when he takes over in a decade and Disney's like, oh, hey, our movies aren't making any money anymore because China doesn't care about Star Wars. Well, yeah. I mean, why would you, like, promote a movie about going up against an empire in China? Yeah. It's a bad Ooh. idea. Ooh. It's a bad Ooh. idea. <laughs> That's too real. Yeah, well. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, my vibe, Brojo. My vibe Thanks, was killed. Brojo. Yeah. No, my vibe was killed when I found out about what Chibi uh, said earlier. Yeah. About Sorry, what? Bro. Don't worry about it. Um. <laughs> all right. In other wonderful news, uh, Equifax <laughs> has cut a lot of shit uh, esports wise. Equifax is what it was a huge esports team. Uh, they completely eliminated their Call of Duty and Gears of War divisions and let go of like all their made, all pretty yeah, pretty much all their major uh, fighting game people. Uh, yeah, I'm the, looking at Tekken the updates. Went first, and yeah. everything else just followed. JDCR, Saint Punk, uh, Scar, Theo, uh, a lot like it, Punk was you know finals of Evo last year for Street Fighter. Uh, okay, the, the reason this is a thing, it's uh, like a uh, thing of note is <clears throat> Echo Fox is a pretty big, pretty central uh, esports like team, or at least an organization. Uh, at the time when it was coming up, when uh, esports was going to be the big thing, when everyone was like organizing leagues and trying to get on this, they were, yeah, they were basically like farming teams and trying to put the fingers in every single pie. And this is, they're just contracting. Like hey, they're, you know what, they're just shedding. You know what the fighting game community shouldn't have done? Thuggery? No, no, no <laughs> they should have gone deeper. They, they, the, the, the denial of Brazzers money. <laughs> this is, this is what it comes back. No, to. no, no. They, they're some who was sponsored by them. Somebody was sponsored by them for sure. Oh yeah, no, it's not a joke. They got sponsored, but like. Wasn't it like Porn MD or something, and they just changed their name? Like, they they made it like an acronym or something. I'm 
look. I don't remember who it was, but it was it was kind of like it was kind of witty. It was kind of cool how they did it. Man, but... was that really six years ago? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, browser sponsoring FGC. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Eli Joe. They sponsored Eli Joe for a bit. Eli Joe assured his audience during the three-hour live stream that the sponsorship will not lead to an infiltration of pornographic elements into FGC events and streams. <laughs> oh, we never even talked about infiltration, did we? We don't oh, have to. Man. We don't. We don't need infiltration to. Infiltration sucks. The end. Sorry. He's probably maybe a wife beater. That's. Oh, there's no probably maybe. And I'm Korean not... law sucks, so nobody can say anything for sure about it. It's ongoing, ongoing story. Um, yeah. So esports, I don't. Know, Echo Fox. It was nice while it lasted. We had some really great years there, but unfortunately, the only thing people care about is a midget jumping on another midget. What? What do you? What do you? What? Talk about UFC and the stupid weight system. There's some pretty decent uh, dudes. I don't. Know. I'm not going to talk shit about UFC dudes here. <laughs> I'm going to look at this related event hubs link fighting game cosplay from Carolina and Guilla. That's a nice look on the bookie there. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Callie is a cosplay aficionado. We'll just leave it at that. And how. And how. Uh, What's the next one? R slash NSW <laughs> cosplay. Uh, yes. Uh, y'all talk about this Game Boy case because I don't know anything about it. It's just that's just all it is. It's, Nintendo's it's, uh... making an official version of a product that already exists called Smart Boy. If you want a yeah. Smart Boy, you can buy one today for twenty bucks. Except it's even better than the Nintendo one because the Smart Boy you can just plug in a cartridge directly into it. If you want a Smart Boy, I'm over can here pointing my thumbs at myself. Is, I'm over here pointing my thumbs at myself. It's an attachment for a phone that you plug into the bottom of a phone. Uh, it has Game Boy buttons on it, and it has an L and an oh, R, I think. Yeah, this is this is like yeah. the bottom half of a Game Boy. Yeah, that's the exact same thing as a Smart Boy. That's why Nintendo is making this. Well, I thought probably... the thing I saw was like an overlay for your touchscreen, like a, a no, full thing. That's part of it, because that's how it works with the device. You're pressing the button, and it presses down on the screen below. No, the, the the thing that exists is not made by Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo's it's making one. Made now. by Hyperkin. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Hi, I've heard of Hyperkin. They they seem all right. They make good shit, but this is probably going to get lawsuit out of existence because Nintendo cannot handle competition ever. Smart Boy Dev Kits for sixty dollars out of stock. Good to know. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. Let's talk about Pokemon Go for a minute. Yeah, um, are we there? Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah we're right at the, we're right there, dude. We are there. Yeah, we're yeah. Uh, Pokemon Go. They've been teasing Gen Four. They've been tweeting about the starters for Gen Four. Um. Uh. So they finally revealed that if you trade a Pokemon from Go to Let's Go, you can get a box, and that box will let you get Meltan, that gray nut Pokemon. <laughs> uh, once a day. The slime nut, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a nut! <laughs> slime nut. Slime nut, yes. Uh, you can get one of those once a day from opening that box. And that's after you trade that to the Switch game, Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee, Slash Pikachu. And, okay. uh, they just... I, I don't know. I don't fucking care. <laughs> it's like... I'm gonna ask a friend who will get that game. Hey, can I come over and use your Switch real quick? And I'll get the thing, and I'll be like, "Great." If there's online trading, I could just probably send it to you at that point. Yeah, if if there were online trading, the game would probably be broken, honestly. But I mean, I could always spoof myself to you, but yeah. Don't I don't need you spoofing anywhere near me. Thank you very much. <laughs> don't don't spoof near me. It's gross. Is there any sort of a downside to doing that though? Because that's the only way. Absolutely we're not. There's so anymore. many people that have not gotten banned. So yeah. many. <laughs> There's okay. like they then, they've yeah. been cra they've been cracking down on it, but also like it's so fucking easy. Like it's like 
like if you want to cheat at this dumb shit, then fine. But I'm not going to. It, I, I mean, like, otherwise, how are we going to take advantage of our our friend level in Pokemon Go, Cali? I I, yeah, I know that's like what, how how do we take advantage of the trade like you know discounts if if we don't? I look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go on the dark web and get banned. <laughs> Um, you wouldn't. I would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'll go out there eventually. It's fine. Um, okay. Uh, what else with Pokemon Go? I don't know. They just had a psychic event, and also, like, we just Is had. It over? Yeah, it just ended today. Okay. Um, and also, uh, like, this, like, a few days ago was International Day of the Girl Child. Yeah, that was Nido Queen, right? What? Yeah, it was it was it was like Nidoran female and Love Disc and like J- Julepuff and uh, Clefairy and female so Pikachu stuff. Yeah. Okay. And also female Wobbuffet, which I didn't have yet, so that was Oh damn. That oh, was that's convenient. why there was twelve Wobbuffets around me at all times of the day. Okay. Yeah, I did not have a female Wobbuffet, so that was convenient. And be- that's like the one of the most like, there's a lot of Pokemon where there's a slight visual difference between male and female. Like, a uh, Hypno, like, its collar is slightly slightly hairier, uh, the female version. You know, I don't know. Uh, like, uh, Venusaur, the bulb on its flower is different between the genders. But, like, uh, Wobbuffet is just straight up, like, it has lips or it doesn't. That's, <laughs> like, the female one has lips. And it's like, okay, that's fine. Um... Yeah, I don't know. There's been a lot of shit going on with Pokemon Go. They... Question. Quick yeah. question. What's the deal with the rainbow muck slash grammar? That's that's a Lolan muck. Okay, I did not know that. I've gotten yeah. a bunch of those. All right. Yeah. That's from the, the 7K eggs. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, that Alolan uh, executor cracks me the hell up. Yeah. I, I love <laughs> seeing it on, like, when you click on somebody on your friends list and it's just, like, yeah. Stick it out the top, yeah. Or or when you click on it on a nearby and like it literally cuts off halfway, like it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's very good. <laughs> like Pokemon's dumb, but yeah, it's dumb, but it's a nice dumb, and it's it's like for the most part, despite all like the dark shit involved, it's it's still like innocent and bright, and it's nice. Yeah, it's a it, nice thing that you guys didn't take and turn into this awful, awful thing. Uh, you haven't looked hard enough. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, exactly. I don't. Yeah, no. I I go on the Pokemon uh board on 4chan a lot to keep up with things and I see stuff. Uh anyway. Uh yeah, I don't know. Uh that's my Pokemon Go couple minutes. Pokemon Go to the polls. And with that, this podcast goes to the polls. <laughs> oh. I it, I don't know, fucking I was what? trying to say it like comes to a close. Go to the polls. Oh, we let's let's talk about games that come out at least. Let's do that real All quick. Right. Oh let's, right, let's, let's coming out Fuck. soon. Because we, we sort of just we did skip this. Yeah, I this because I wanted to go into news first. I don't know. I wanted to talk about dumb bullshit first. All right, speaking of dumb bullshit, Starlink PC. How does that work? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Switch. I just told you. How? No, I don't. I'm not talking about Switch. I don't care about the Switch. It's coming to PC. I know. It's a point of life game with a base and like figures. They and the all use the USB connections, all of them. But what if you buy it on Steam? So it just oh, has a portal like fucked. Skylanders. I don't then know. You have to hit. You have to hit Escape. You got to go to a menu, and you have to manually configure it. It's slower. That's getting fucked. Really? Yes. It's a it's a side app where you build the thing and then yep. you go back it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, okay, sorry, just explain. Starlink, it's that game with the Star Fox in it. That's what it's best known for. That's but... the only way they've gotten anybody to care about that game, is yeah, by putting yeah. Star Fox on in everything it. Everything that's not Switch, it doesn't have Star Fox, so... Yeah, so basically, it's like it's a game where... It's kind of like a... How do I put it? Like Free Space or Elite? It's, 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 a, it's a space flying fighting game. Like, you know, a fighter game, but the thing is... You have this little model, and your model, of course, in game, corresponds to the model you have built. 
Yeah, and you, you can change on, out the parts. And yeah, it, you slap on cannons. You like it make like put a, a bigger thruster on the physical model. The one in the game changes reflect that. Yeah, it's the, kind of the key component to this whole game. Yeah. Yeah, they and, they did that with the most recent Skylanders too. The they were like. It was called Imaginators, and it was like, you can change out parts on the character. It was weird. I don't know. And, uh, and now Deadpool's telling me that the the central component, the main gimmick, isn't present on the PC version. Uh, why, yeah, why really? it, it is present on the PC version. That thing is there. Like, if you... If you but it's an you can buy physical. that physical toy by itself. Okay. So that's what you'd do. You'd, you'd either n do that or you'd go to the menu. Uh-huh. That's it. In, in, in all the versions, it's the same thing. I'm going to look at a YouTube video. You've made <laughs> me do this. Uh, let me see. All right. This thing says Soul Calibur Six. Is is this true or somebody like that comes out on Friday? Yeah. Yep. Friday coming out this week. Yeah. Yep. We talked about it last week. I I mean I know we did, but I thought it was still like. Well, the beta was, was like last 29... week. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was a 2019 game that people were just getting hyped for like in advance. No, it's coming out on Friday. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to wait on it, but I'm I'm getting it. Should probably find a place to pre-order, I guess. Huh. I, I don't care about Tira, so I'm fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, what? Soul Calibur is rad, and I'll, I will be at a place with alcoholic beverages this Friday, and people will bring setups, and I will play Soul Calibur 6 on release day while drunk, so that'll be cool. That's cool. Uh, also on this list, uh, the Guinness World Record making Warriors Orochi 4 is coming out. I'll be here. Back um, let's see what else of note is coming out this week because I don't think anything besides those are. Uh, ba ba ba. That is. What is this? Why are we using this list? Because it's the list that Brennan posts every time. I okay. I guess it's updated. Yeah. Uh, October. Ba ba ba. Lego, Lego DC Super Villains. It looks good. It's a Lego game. Yeah, yeah, that's it's a Lego game. That much is certain. Um, uh, Valkyrie Chronicles on the Switch, really? Yep, it's it's coming home, boys. I forgot they announced that. Uh, <coughs> we'll NBA see. 2K Playgrounds. I. Does anyone care? No. In the whole world it seemed like a fine thing it was like nba jam adjacent oh here we go resonance of fate pc port coming out on the 18th time to customize those guns customize and, and the room for switch and sinner sacrifice for redemption comes out 28 oh yeah uh return of the Oberdin. that's the thing the game boy yes. aesthetic yes. game by the guy who made papers please that is going to be sick i that played is going to be he put good. out that free demo like two years ago and i played it and i was like this is neat i'll i'll wait until this is a game and it's finally a game so i mean it's probably going to be more of that same thing that you already played so if you didn't like that you might not like what he does i don't know i didn't dislike it it was just clearly very early so I'll, and he I'll... makes all of his games by himself, so he's kind of an artist more than I would say some other game developers tend to be more developers than they are artists. And they're like, hey, here's the new Call of Duty. Oh, that's some good art there. <laughs> you know? It's still... Uh... it's still. Listen, listen. Call of Duty games are in a piece of art that a collaborative... A, a collective collaborative creative expression of a business what regardless of the backing that goes into it it is still a piece of art okay if it didn't make money they wouldn't keep making it 
I, regardless of how commercial it is, it is still a piece <laughs> of art. I think we had. I would say artists worked on it. I don't know how many of them enjoyed the job. Listen, man, you got it. Look, it is it. Yeah, it's a job. And, That's a job. That's and, not art. And <laughs> like, like these people, there's millions of fucking wonderful games that have come out from people moving on from AAA studios. Like, you know, it. Regardless, like, you don't have to like it, but you have to respect it, at least. If art is suffering, then yes, Call of Duty has the most artists working on it. Like, it, that that person <laughs> rendering the drool coming off Venom in the movie. And hating like, every moment of their life for doing they're it. An, yeah, that's they're, art. An ar- they're an artist. They're still an artist. Just because that's I, their I job. I am an artist because I hate my job. No, they're an artist because that's what is making them the money. I okay. don't think they've really had that many still... artists working at the company since. No, no. Listen, this is not. This is over. This is me saying the textbook definition of art is somebody creating something and it being a a fucking creation. Okay. How about let me it, put if it this somebody way. if somebody renders the sand on the fucking ground you're walking on in Call of Duty, that's still art. That's still somebody creating something you're looking at. Someone and it's like, man, this looks pretty good. Advertising campaign for McDonald's is not somebody I would consider to be an amazing artist. A graphic designer is still an artist. Okay? They're creating a that logo they, that you're going to look at, and it's still going to be a piece of fucking art. Okay? But the, the thing the difference is... I'm glad we got here in this podcast. It goes from personal <laughs> expression to the expression of a corporate entity. Exactly. Yeah, and I don't think that's art. Regardless of the intent, it's still a fucking piece of art. Also, okay. I think we forgot something very important here. What? On October eighteenth for the PC, Gunscope Gun the game will be released. Yeah, we said that. We oh said yeah, that we, we yeah. Sorry, I oh, I went away. you were gone. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know you said Resident Evil. All right, dunked on. <laughs> I, I had to, I had to leave for a minute. I just had to make know, sure that people knew. People needed to know. Sorry, I was being a shit. Also, Hunter yeah. called Wild Update 2019. Yes. Zin will be very excited for that. Something oh, that's that room, Hunter game. Something called the Room for the Switch is coming out. That that's I don't know what that's a uh, it's a uh, one of those escape games, you know, that's on phones and it's um, the the Room has a few games. It's been on Steam for a while actually. There is one game that do you guys know who Super Great Friend is on nope. YouTube? No, that sounds this, super generic. It is, but he's this amazing... He crafts stories in the ways that he like plays through games where it makes you want to play the game yourself. And I would say, like, his playthrough combined with the playthrough of Super Best Friends of Deadly Premonition is what made me buy that game a billion, billion times. Um, and he was just LPing a game recently. Um, called, hold on, where is it? <laughs> I'm it looking looks, at his it, channel, he played Tender Loving Care. <laughs> yeah, he did. Um, Free Shorties, it's called, it's called September 1999. Good and year. it looks like, if you look at the image for it, it looks like a, like, VHS tape. It's not. It's all in-game rendering. It is like Uncanny Valley astounding levels of realism and effort that was put into this game. And it's kind of like watching the Blair Witch Project, but you get to control the camera. And it looks real. Oh, this is by that 98 Demon guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's some good shit. Oh, it's free. Um, I will. I will try this out after this. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to mention that. Lincoln September nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Um. That looks like a neat thing. So that, and then uh, last week we had Swery's game come out, The Missing. I don't know I, if you guys. Have, I, I've it? heard nothing about it. I I I bought it. I I, it's. Oh, uh, you know what? I think you. It's thirty bucks. 
I think you should. Oh. I think you should get it. I think you should check it out for yourself and not maybe not sp spoil yourself on it like I did. I saw what the gameplay was, which if he had said just what the gameplay was at some point, at any point, I would have pre-ordered it. Should I just say what it is? It's a puzzle I, game. It, it It's a platform puzzler where... Yeah, but the, don't, don't, no, no, nothing, nothing else. Nothing else. Yeah, okay. Nothing else. It's a it, platform puzzle game, but the, he didn't even say that much, and because he didn't even give me a, like description of what the game is going to be except it's from sweary enjoy it i i turned myself off well but i i listen i kickstarted the good life i support my boy sweary and everything Same. he does we need more sweary in our lives we do but i i wouldn't pay for something i had no idea what it was i also bought good life the double edition the dog and cat one yeah. so like I did the dog because that's 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 what I that's what I'm about. Yeah. So and and now the game's gonna be have both anyways. So like. Okay. But like, if he had just put a description out of it, I would have been pre-ordering it. It's fucking amazing. Love that game. It's a neat thing. I'm not surprised you didn't like it as much as I did. <laughs> um. I, yeah. I. I didn't even know it was a thing until people started talking about it. Like, because he days fucking ago. stealth announced it. Yeah. Well, uh, I, it, they've been like Arxis is pub or not uh, Arc System Works is publishing it, so they they've been tweeting a whole lot about it. I I follow Arc System Works because they do a lot of games I like. So. Um, and also, yeah, no, they've just been like him and them and Swery have just been tweeting about like the story like not about the gameplay at all i didn't i did not know what and i've, kind yeah, of I've game avoided it was. that because why would i want story spoilers of a sweary game i i <laughs> looked well yeah yeah that's fair uh i i looked at the jim Pressions video to see what the gameplay was like and i was like oh okay that's weird i'll i'm still gonna buy it But yeah, I'm going to probably play through that this week. It's 30 bucks. Not that much. <sighs> Is the messenger worth playing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, sorry. Messenger, the messenger, or missing? The messenger. That that ninja game with a twist or whatever. Yes. I don't care about the twist. Just all right. Yes. It's From what I've like heard... Old From what I've heard of people who really enjoy that genre, it is amazing. Mm. Alright. I may give it a shot then. Are you still playing Maybe. Warframe? I am, oh, yeah. Oh, he okay. is, yeah. Okay. I was playing earlier. Alright. Yeah. Alright then, so. Uh, I will just say that yes, I will be playing to possibly finish Fist of North Star in this upcoming week on stream. I was going to get back to Akami, but somebody else is doing that now. Deadpool. So, we'll see what else I come up with. I'm not stopping you. If you want to take no, over right now, go ahead. I, no, this is going to be RE4 all over again, or we have multiple <laughs> people doing the same goddamn game at the same time. No, that's not going to happen. Hey, hey, you know what I say? <laughs> Fuck them. What? Play that game. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, besides that, I don't know. Like, maybe some, like, random crap on the weekend, but we'll see. You, uh, you plan to do anything, or you still can't, Kelly? I still can't. Still can't do streams. It, it's, it's the upload here. The download is fine. The upload is not. Right, because you uh, live in a place that is being controlled by the assholes. Yeah. By the dark web. No, <laughs> I just say assholes. Uh... Deadpool, you got anything going? Or anything planned for the upcoming week, stream-wise? Uh, stream-wise? Yeah, stream-wise. Uh, wow, that's, that was... that's where we are. Come on. Mm, sorry. Um, I bought Thumper. So mm, there might neat. be some Thumper streams. Wasn't it like five bucks at some point? For yep. Ah, oh, nice. That's why I posted that. So... Mm. That might be a thing. Oh, I do um, have that. I didn't think I had that, but I have that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all stream Thumper. That'll be great now. Yeah, sure. Four streams at the same time of Thumper. 
Drive y'all mad. Uh, um. I'll I don't know. Beyond like... that, what would be good to stream? Because I've got video games? the war frames happening, and yeah, that's that's it for me. Oh yeah, um, I'm also still still playing uh, like two three games off stream because for some reason the NG pluses are a little messed up. I can't go through the whole game again unless I finish my current saves, so I can't really say what those are, but. That'll probably happen around December, maybe. Dead maybe Bones possibly. Are. Maybe possible. Like I, I need to like finish the game first. All right, the games actually. It's more than one. <laughs> and with that, all right. I think we're gonna call that a podcast. Uh, Brennan has been having fun. Hopefully in Florida. Hopefully. There's a goddamn all hurricane right. again. Yeah, so. I don't know why he traveled there during this, but like you know, hopefully he's okay. Yeah. When you make plans, man, you don't make plans for a week ahead. You make a plan for six months ahead so the prices aren't fucking bullshit. Yeah, I, I yeah. hate that my family always tries to travel, like, days before. It's like, all right, what can you find us? Like, nothing. There's nothing. Nothing you exists. Just, you need at least, a month, at least a month lead time, and even then. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no. It, that's an understandable frustration. <laughs> I Night always guys. do that shit three months out, so, yeah. All right. See you guys later. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Come back, friend. <laughs> that was the last word out. <laughs> Come back, friend. <laughs>